Hi everybody, today I wanted to go through a learn to play video for New York Slice. We did an unboxing video of this the other day. We had a chance to play it and uh, really liked it. So um, just wanted to kind of go through the basics. This is a pretty simple game, total, totally uh, playable by family and everybody else. But uh, we'll just kind of go through the steps. Basically you have pizza slices which you shuffle and um, create into stacks of 11 which will make pizzas. Um, you will, uh, each person, there will be a person called the slicer that will lay out the pizza and a special for the day and they'll decide how that pizza gets split up. Then the other players will draft that pizza. Um, basically take the sections that the, the slicer had chosen and the players will choose those and uh, collect or eat those slices. Um, and when you collect the slice, you basically just build it in a pizza in front of you. And when you eat a slice, uh, at the end of the game, you get points for how many pepperonis you have eaten in that slice. So let's take a quick look. Um, if I were the slicer here, I would draw one of today's specials and I would have one section of pizza here that I would just lay out and these were shuffled randomly and the order is actually somewhat imp is important that they go out because you have to slice this pizza and you can see there are two eights together so if we were playing a four player game I would have to s set this out with uh, divide this into four slices. So uh, today's special is a buffet. You get plus one. Whoever collects this buffet special is they can at the end of the game get plus one point for each different type of pizza that they have collected. And you can see the numbers 10, 8, 9, 3. They basically 3 through uh, 11. And that number actually indicates how many of those slices there are. And so collecting wise, Points are scored by the person who actually collects the most of that set. If you tie with somebody, nobody gets any points. So whoever collects the most eights gets eight points at the end of the game. Whoever collects the most elevens gets 11 points at the end of the game. Or, like I said earlier, if you collected this 11 slice, you could choose to eat it. And it would be worth three points if you ate it because of the three pepperoni on it. So in a four-player game, the slicer would have to take a look at this, probably decide that they're going to... and the, they, they, ha, they ha, can't rearrange the slices in any manner. And so he may want to do something like this for the four slices. So um, there would be... the eights wouldn't be together, so anybody collecting would have an eight back and forth and uh, so that would be it so the first player the person next to the slicer the slicer is going to end up going last so you got to be careful that you don't slice something so bad that nobody else takes it and you get stuck with it so the first player might choose to take these three slices and we'll scoot the pizza over and we'll just say that actually the first player took this slice, these three slices, and he has that there. The second player decides that he's going to take this special, and we'll have it there. And then you have the third and the fourth player. So we have first, second, third, fourth. Now, when the first player, at the time he actually chose, he would have to decide. So you could say, I'm going to eat this slice, so he'll save that for later. And the second player can go saying, well, I see that somebody actually, there's a lot of eights out here. I'm probably not going to have a choice at eight. So I am going to uh, eat that eight. But he decides that's the bad choice, actually, because of the plus one for each different type of pizza you collected. So he's not going to want to eat anything. This person may decide to eat that eight, and that would be worth two points to him. And this person has three different types, and he's set. So then... You would repeat, player two would lay out another pizza. And you would repeat this 
as many times as you have slices of, uh, of pizzas that you have. And I honestly, I forget how many, but I think it's like five pizzas make up the whole game. So the second player would have to slice this pizza, and he may decide that, um, you know, he, he wants to see a lot of variety out there again. So he might have a, a that. He might try and entice somebody to take the nines. Um, there's a, a special, which if there was a combo, if for each combo slice you collected is worth three extra points. So let's say it was split like this. And um, so player, the next player, player three, decides, well, well, there's two nines there, so I'm going to grab those. And he's going to build that. Um, this player is going to say, well, I have sevens, and I have fives, and the six probably isn't going to do me, well, nobody else has six, so he's going to keep it. Um, third player says, I'm going to take the eight and eleven, I'm going to eat the eleven, and have the three, and eating that is worth no points, actually, because it's a veggie slice with no pepperonis on it, so you just keep it. And this way it works out nicely for this player because he actually has now f five different types of pizzas. So that's basically the game. You either, and at the end of the game, you look and whoever has, like I said, the most, this player would have the most fives, it would be worth five points. He has the most sevens, it would be worth seven points. This player has the most nines, it would be worth nine points. Both players, there's one three, so they are both tied, so they don't get anything. Uh, there's one ten, so this player would get ten points if that's what we were, if we were done at this point. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a ten and a ten, so nobody would get points for tens. So uh, that's basically the game. Each game you, you have different, a variety of different um, specials that come out. And the other thing I was going to show you is kind of a cool little uh, scoring pad that they had made up for this. So it's like a guest check. And as you can see, you can just circle whoever has the most. This is a game we played the other day. And um, specials that they, they had and, and how they scored points. So the other thing was that um, there's an anchovy slice. If you collect that anchovy slice, it's worth minus three points. And there are some slices with anchovies on them. And so there, when you eat that slice, or when you collect a slice with an anchovy, it is minus one point when you collect it um, also. So that is basically the game. And, uh, you know, I tell you what, it's really fun. You just kind of shuffle these all up, lay them out, place them out, and, and go from there. So, um, like I said, that's basically the game. It takes, you know, once you play, 30 minutes or whatever to get the game going and play it. And... Um, People seem to really enjoy it. So uh, that's it for now. I recommend going out, picking this game up. Your family probably like it. Uh, the only con I have against it is that uh, I got really hungry when playing it. <laughs> anyway, thanks. Have a good day.